Now, some of the listeners are going to say to themselves, well, how did she eat and pay the bills? And how did, how did, what, the other guy just quit his job and had no income for six months? And what, would you guys have a bunch of savings? Did you, did you uh, get some seed money from friends and family? How did you fund it? Yeah, so I think that's super personal for everyone, like how to figure that out. I will say there are a bunch of ways that you can do this. One, you don't have to quit your job. You can do a side gig. You just need to be willing to work hard. Like right. it's the thing is, it's like you, it's all about priorities, right? Like, is that what you want? I also want to say like starting a business is really awful. Like really awful. I would actually, <laughs> unless you are a thousand percent sure and kind of borderline insane, I would just say like, you know, it's, it's, it's much harder than I thought it would be. So, so put that aside, I think first, you know, smart founders, you know, will do it, do it like on the side, like figure yeah. things out. Like you don't have to quit your job, like keep that security. Um, once you have some more conviction, you can choose to quit your job or not. I think in terms of like what we, uh, what I actually did, I did consulting gigs on ah, the side. So okay. I would get like. You know, uh, I would get like a 20K consulting gig and then that would keep me running for a little while. Also uh, because I didn't want to work full time for another boss, as I mentioned. <laughs> so that was my perspective. But so like, I think you can either keep it as a side gig. You can, you know, do some consulting projects on the side to kind of like keep going. But the best thing is, is honestly just to get revenue as early as possible and like force you to do that, get to that point. Right. So like, you and your co- it, really early like yeah. get stuff out the door and see if people will pay for it i think that's great advice yeah that's another mistake i think people make is uh they they think it has to be perfect and that whatever it is they're building has to be absolutely perfect before it quote goes to market yeah that's that's not true you need to get some revenue try to get some proof of concept see if anybody's even interested you can always pivot and change and tweak as you move along i totally agree the Riderflex podcast features entrepreneurs, business executives, and the stories behind how they got there, as well as daily tips on career advice and job interviews. Our show can be heard just about anywhere these days, but you can visit riderflex.com and click on the podcast page to hear all the previous episodes and learn more about the recruiting and consulting services we provide. Contact us at the email address info at riderflex.com or 888-964-5876. Thanks so much for listening. And if you enjoy our show, please be sure to subscribe to our channel and like the episodes.